No godless man may sit the sea stone chair. I, as it happens, I have oft sat upon the sea stone chair of late. It raises no objections. But who knows more of the gods than I? Horse gods and fire gods. Gods made of gold with gemstone eyes. Gods carved of cedar wood. Gods chiseled into mountains. Gods of empty air. I know them all. I have seen their people garland them with flowers and shed the blood of goats and bulls and children in their name. And I have heard their prayers in half a hundred tongues. Cure my withered leg. Make the maiden love me. Grant me a healthy son. Save me. Succor me. Make me wealthy. Protect me. Protect me from mine enemies. Protect me from the darkness. Protect me from the crabs inside my valley. From the horse lords. From the slavers. From the cell swords at my door. Protect me from the silence. <laughs> Godless, why, Aaron, I am the godliest man ever to raise a sail. You serve one god, Damper, but I serve ten thousand. From Ib to Ashai, when men see my sails, they pray. They pray to trees and golden idols and goat-headed abominations. False gods. And for that sin I kill them all. I spill their blood upon the sea and sow their screaming women with my seed. Their little gods cannot stop me so plainly. They are false gods. I am more devout than even you, Aaron. Perhaps it should be you who kneels to me for blessing.